poor Ezra Miller. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> His face. And by okay. poor, I mean completely freaking evil. Look at this picture yep. on the on the headline. His face is Thank just you. there. Are no thoughts. <laughs> just like no nice. thoughts. Okay. Uh, he looks like a little baby. <laughs> what was, what was that? that? <gasps> what, it how it little was. money <laughs> fart? It was like. Boop. <laughs> It wasn't <laughs> sure whether it was going to send that. It was like, one. I don't know about that one. <laughs> so it says, uh, Ezra Miller out as the Flash. Well, it only took like, you know, a bunch of channels talking about it endlessly to kind of make the point that maybe you shouldn't platform kids, guys who are like hanging out with 12 year olds and coming back Please, dressed as a cowboy. Who trusted this face? <laughs> to begin with who trusted that those eyes there's yeah. no nothing behind them so it says say goodbye to ezra miller as the flash which follows those recent allegations surrounding the actor's behavior with young girls notice how they say young girls uh, and they don't acknowledge the fact that children this keeps happening around uh well it's not just that it's that there are other people who uh, also identify as non-binary which means he's taking advantage of people based on identity which is even more uh uh, kind of abhorrent it says in deadlines write up surrounding the flash movie which is similar to my own from yesterday the site notes that the sources have filled them uh, filled them in that quote even if there are no more al even if no more allegations surface the studio likely won't keep Miller in as the flash in future films why would you why would you I'm when I saw this I was like out as the flash yay yeah. but then I was like kind of. dot 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 after this movie is released why? So, so what do they do here? Why? Like, uh, uh, what? This is the the idea here is that David Zaslav, who just came in and took over for uh, War uh at Warner Brothers, Zaslav, Zaslav. <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> is that I don't funny know. It's a little name? bit of a cartoonish not name. Very Zaslav. nice Zaslav. to make Zaslav. fun Zaslav. of his name. Well, David Zaslav. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's funny. No, it's not. David <laughs> David Zaslav, who took, who basically he took control of Warner Brothers Discovery after the merger. He kind of inherited this problem because uh, Miller's been employed as the Flash since the Justice League got made in like 2017, and they've been trying to make the Flash movie since like 2014. And clearly, it's cursed with everything that's going on here. Dude, the Justice League used to be way cooler yep. than the Avengers. Oh yeah, was, and that's really a testament to how bad Ezra. Miller and Ben Affleck are in their roles. Anyway, I just want to say that. Back to Ben Affleck. Just want to say that. Is there, <coughs> is there a problem? Do we got a problem with that? You're wrong. It's a testament to how bad the product, the studio is at actually getting these things made properly. And it's a testament to how bad they are interfering with their film productions. Okay, but it's also a good, it's a testament, I suppose you could say, to the quality of what Marvel was able to create in those early years. Can Chad let Brett know how wrong he is about this? Like, I'm really tired of having this conversation. <laughs> like, Can we please, settle this once please. and for all? Let's I mean, settle this today. Luckily, is Ben Affleck the good Batman? Dane Seth, nay. Luckily, <laughs> luckily, since I'm right and everybody else is wrong, Wrong, oh, it doesn't really God. matter. So it's it's fine. So it says deadline adds that they have also heard that the studio has tried getting help for Ezra, uh, but troubling headlines continue to pile up, which sounds like it means Mil Miller has rejected the aid of Warner Brothers. I'm starting to think it really does beyond the fact that he just seems like a psychopath. Uh, <laughs> that it, a lot of it could be drug related. Oh yeah. That, that, that there's like there's that will a probably point, come out later on down the line. There's a there's a point when you're deep in it, like early on. Um, and you're like still at that stage where you're like uh, in denial that you need help that he could very much like it's it seems hard to believe that it could happen to somebody who's responsible for something as big as a 200 million dollar franchise you'd think that they wouldn't be allowed to be so dumb but drugs make you dumb they really do so it just kind of proves it, that it yeah. affects everyone no matter whether they have a, a Joe job making minimum wage or they're responsible as the face of a 200 million dollar franchise if it is because of drugs and just the fact that he just doesn't seem like a very good person um, it affects everyone so right it's like the deadly combination of mental illness drug abuse and having no moral compass because you don't have people in your life who keep you in check at all and an identity that's allowed you to kind of high shield yourself it from seems like he's like found these children who mm. he wants to seem like a role model in that respect too yep. that identity respect it almost just has no way of going no understanding of how you're supposed to go about something like that without sounding like like if we were to be charitable and say he's not a creep he's just he's literally going about it in the worst possible way I Ever. mean, the In charitable, history. the only like seemingly charitable interpretation of these interactions he's had with Thank these you. young children 
is that he is like <laughs> mentally stunted and yeah. believes himself to be at the same maturity level as them. Yeah. For real. Yep. So it says, uh, so they talk about here. So there was the case with Dakota Iron Eyes. That is a problem. And then we have the story of the 12, uh, the 12 year olds whose family sought not, uh, in, uh, uh, in order of protection because he was um, trying to, to scoot close to her and then threatened her mom's friend because uh, she said she didn't understand. He said that she, she used the term tribe in, in a way that he didn't approve of and called it cultural appropriation and then talked about said and then, things could get serious and, the, and then talked about talking like that the Rastafarian roots of Parcheesi and it became like literally mental illness Mad Libs uh, where everything just seems like you picked an, uh, like a topic out of a head. And really then he sounds does. written. And then it when, sounds like, fake. The first time I read the article, guys, if you haven't, go read the Daily Beast article about it. When it gets to the part at the end where they talk about him coming back dressed as a cowboy, I literally broke down into tears of laughter Well, being kind of like upset with myself for laughing at something like that because it's still... Uh, I don't know what he's done to anybody. I don't know what's happened, but it's just so ridiculous that yeah. I could not help... But like, it's literally I dissolved into tears of laughter because, because he's just, we're he's like such a train evolving wreck. into the same insanity we're going nuts so so what do they do about the movie do they just scrap it that's so yeah, that's dude. what i want them to do just because do you've already paid this person mm -hmm. for the work they've done now you're going to release it and depending on their contract give give ezra miller more, more. money so it says why the, more the power for this insane person who is like abusing children yeah like this Why? this would be truly like standing up for your principles i would wonder if they if he doesn't have like a i'm assuming most hollywood is is as ironic and laughable as this might be i imagine <laughs> that hollywood contracts include morals clauses which i imagine they laugh and giggle at every time they write a hollywood morals clause because it's such a it's it, i mean it, i assume that's why he had to delete his instagram account after posting all of those stories yep that is this there's that some famous? clause like you can't no. post these certain things on social media if we disapprove of them. Like I, I his dad works in publishing. Uh, the, is this modern fame? Mo like he has a modern dancer. He has okay. If he anything, has to have someone famous in his family, uncle, whatever, distant cousin. Like, I, it's. If anything, I think that this indicates he just represents more of Hollywood's amoral stance yeah, than for anything. Real. Yep. So it says, regarding the fate of the Flash movie, Deadline says that it is up to David Zaslav of Warner Discovery. I didn't laugh that time. Uh, where much <laughs> like uh, I reported, Warner Brothers could release the flick in theaters with the hope that the controversies will die down or release the film on HBO Max streaming service. Another possibility is similar to Johnny Depp and Fantastic Beast situation to drop Miller from the flick while still promoting the movie. They can't do that because Johnny Depp was, they, they just reshot those scenes and then, or no, I'm sorry, they didn't do that. They, as when they made the third movie, they just replaced him. But he wasn't a main, the main character in that movie. Mm -hmm. Ezra Miller they said this first of all this movie's already filmed and done and just yeah. waiting for release he's in almost every scene in the movie they said Ugh. it says he can pull back on heavily promoting on heavily promoting the mo movie in summer of 2023 confining it to some P&A and no publicity tour or Zaslav can relegate it to streaming on HBO Max and take it as a write down or lean in towards making the movie a hit and then uh, and then it drop Miller if they can't straighten their things out J just you can't not promote it Without with him, like, and like, what do you do? Only hire male people to to do the Q and A's with him, just in case, so he doesn't attack them. <laughs> no, get the get the guy that you literally can't work with demographics of people out of there. Like, get him out. Like, he's a creep. He's not even a good actor. Anyway, like, he he was like. What have you seen? Him? So I've seen. Wasn't he also in an X Men movie? No, he uh, wasn't. No. I'm completely wrong. But like I, I saw him in the anything. Batman movie was like he was basically like gotta go fast. It was like he said that? Yeah, he's basically Sanic. Yeah, so it's like <laughs> bro, bro like <laughs> Bro <stop. is> Sanic. <laughs> he's basically Sanic. And like there's, that meme stopped being funny a while ago. There's no winning for War there's no winning for Warner Brothers a source to filled in deadline. There is an this is an inherited problem for Zazlab, like I said. They hope that the scandal will remain at a low level before the movie is released and hope for the best really? to turn out. The funny thing about this is if they're taking the long game like in nine months, like me and you might still be going nuts. Like, like why are the, why is this still happening? But a lot of, you know, people have short attention spans. That's a problem. Now, now we're talking about on Twitter about how Amber Heard is at TJ Maxx. Like literally that's what gets me the most. <laughs> and we'll about get there it. in pod luck, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> about the womp womp. But like, <laughs> wah, wah, wah. like that's what bothers me the most about it is 
no one cares and this actually just reflects that you know he fits right in with yep. the rest of his industry and, and this is also the other part that i wanted to call to where i do think it has something to do with drugs and it says veteran dc comics writer grant morrison says ezra miller is different now compared to when they worked together on the flash recalls that the actor cut off contact with pretty much everyone for a while it says, much like the rest of the world, uh, the recent downward spiral of Ezra, of the Flash star Ezra Miller has left the one, their one-time collaborator Grant Morrison, the legendary DC comic scribe, uh, with whom the actor uh, wrote an early and ultimately unused script for the Scarlet Speedster solo outing in a state of disbelief. The Final Crisis architect, who, like Miller, identifies as non-binary, I didn't know that about Grant Morrison, that's interesting, offered their thoughts on the actor's current rampage during a recent interview with Rolling Stone's Brian Hyatt. Uh, given the promotion of, uh, of the release of Morris's upcoming novel, Luda, uh, it says, asked by Hyatt, what, uh, what do you make of Ezra Miller's current situation? Morrison replied, I know they've had these problems. I haven't spoken to them for a while. And the last time I spoke was uh, long, you. long before this. All I can say is it's, not, it's just not the person I know. The I've heard stories just like this, uh, just like everyone else. The former Batman writer continued, I just don't know. Ezra cut off contact from pretty much everyone for a while. It's not the person they were. Morrison added, they weren't aggressive in any way. I just thought Ezra was a super intelligent kid with so many talents. So all I can say is I didn't <laughs> see that side in any way with them. Like what I can see is I do think he's smart. I think he was very yeah. smart and fashioned an identity that would allow him to misbehave. You can also hear in the way he talks still that, he yep. like kind of has a lot that he can't express yep. and I think it, what I was saying earlier the interpretation that maybe he feels like he's um, a child yeah, and like stunted in maturity uh, it makes sense like even though he is going about that in a way that's entirely like predatory and reprehensible it makes sense and what, what I was saying before we found out about the the Tokata Iron Eyes situation and the other unnamed yeah. twelve year old. Um, <laughs> My God. <laughs> what I was saying before we found out about those things is that you should just put out the movie. Just put out the damn movie and just get over it and Almost stop, maybe stop agonizing over it. But once we found out about these things, I was like, nope, nope, yeah, you're yeah, done. Yeah. You're done. Burn it. Burn the movie. Yeah. Flash never happened. I mean, who cares about Flash, really? Okay. Literally no one. I, I know. That's, that's like even the crazier the, I disagree with you about that and the, on the popularity of the character. <laughs> the Flash. You like Ben Affleck as Batman. Like I know. I'm right. <laughs> Guys, do you need someone, to settle this outside? Yeah. Someone, we will. Pop culture someone crisis needs outside. to, like, literally help Dane understand for us. why he's having a troublesome time explaining to me why he's wrong. Listen, you're really gonna have to try. <laughs> you're you're gonna have to do like in full ye olde English essay form. I want to hear some perchance. I want to hear some <laughs> words, okay? Because it's a long way around to I'm wrong, Dane. It's a long way around to I'm wrong. I'm lucky. I love you. <laughs> it's Pop okay. culture crisis in the parking lot. Exactly. We're so close to a crisis party. I want to dance. Let's uh, do super chats, yeah. shall we? As long as the crisis party doesn't involve <laughs> uh, Ben Affleck being bad, then yes, exactly. Uh, go for it. Halls and the kids said white boy summer. Okay. Thank you for testing that theory out. I'm glad that we still have freedom of speech on this platform. <laughs> so one that it said I've spent way too much money in microtransactions in video games. I've sworn never again to pay micro microtransactions again. Here's a minor <laughs> payment. How, I would Based. be interested. Well, like, thank you. Like like for, for like stuff like that is that like um I I just I can't imagine doing it. Like it's like for me like Maybe you're just a more frugal person than that, the yeah, rest. Like, yeah, like I'll more, give you an example where like... But also what we're doing here, like I've, I have I super chat like for like stuff that I watch, but that's different. Like that's literally... I don't think I have super an, chatted before. An interaction. That's not the same. Can I tell you how they've gotten me? Yeah. Because they have. <laughs> so I, I play Master Duel. It's like an online server where people can play Yu-Gi-Oh. Normally a Yu-Gi-Oh deck is literally like 500 to to $1,000 here. Like if you got... You could do a, like the best deck for free, yep. and like you could do it in like a fraction of a second with like ten bucks, let's say. Okay. So sometimes you open a pack, and if you get no good cards, it says, "Hey, you didn't get anything good." The next, if you buy another pack of ten, we'll give you guaranteed one of the rarest mm -hmm. cards. And you know these packs expi expire after twenty four hours. And Thank if you, you know that within a, uh, a day, you're not going to get that money, you know, like pay five bucks, get the pack and get the rare card you want and like be 
go on with your day. And that's today's cope. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Thank you. The only Continue. microtransactions I ever made were like in Club Penguin. <laughs> and what that is? was my dad's money. Wasn't when that? I was like See, that's the eight. problem. A lot of it is like dad's. <laughs> so it's, it's mom and dad's oh money. Yeah. Getting that's spent. where they're really getting the money. Yep. Parents. Someone named Dane Font said Ben Affleck sucks as Batman. Oh, well, my God. Somebody, Give that guy a raise. Somebody named Dane Font is a fed. That is for sure. <laughs> <laughs> a fed? Whoa. <laughs> uh, anybody who believes that da- that Ben Affleck sucks as Batman and, and tells us is probably the fed. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how to read anything in this next one from Caper 2 White boy Boricua. What is that? Boricua is like how they call people from Puerto Rico. Mm. Oh. And then what's the next thing he said? Let me look it up. Uh, white boy Boricua summer. Go Taino. So Taino are like the native. This person is very educated. Taino is like the native Indians in Puerto Rico. Hmm. Yeah. How do you feel about that? That was quite a compliment. To I mean, he's to saying um, white boy Boricua summer. So it's like particularly like around me mm-hmm. and go Taino. So he's just basically respecting <laughs> my culture. So thank you. Caper, <laughs> okay. to well, they can respect your culture without, you know, Pretending like Ben Affleck sucked his bat. I mean, I guess fine. they just agree and love me, Brett. <laughs> hey, yes. I, if and I, I have love to them. Be, if I have to be the one that's hated here for truth, then let that be my cross to bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not sure when Waffles Sensei became Waffles Sensei the, the beloved. beloved. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <gasps> Boom. Okay. But he God. says, every time I hear the story unfold about Miller, the Parcheesi, the cowboy costume... I literally have to stop work because I'm <laughs> keeling over laughing. And then I remember he's a child. That's user. that's the hardest part. Yep. It's like it would be hilarious if it wasn't for how freaking awful it is. Like whenever you hear the stuff about the. the you got to laugh so you don't cry. If you if you see the stuff about the, 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 the cowboy, I literally picture him coming back as like the 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 guys for like who's saying YMCA. Like I literally uh, picture him coming back as like an Indian chief, a construction worker. And and do just doing that. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Waffle Sensei, the beloved, also said, People love the flash. Dave is wrong. Fight me, Dave. Listen, I'm a I'm okay with being wrong about that because that feels like a matter of opinion. I am not Waffles then tell me, Ben what, tell me about Ben Affleck <laughs> and Batman. I need to know. Okay? <laughs> because I'm okay with Flash, okay, you like people going fast, congratulations. But like an objectively cool character being ruined by a guy that's famously hit or miss in movies. May I present to you, Geely? You're giving an example from like the 90s. What about? Oh, okay. That disqualifies it. Grow up, Brad. Okay. All right. Well, Grow I'm going to go and watch The Town when this I'm done is with this. Heavy. So I'm going to go watch The Town. And then can I'm you, can go you deal with that? Yep. Can you deal with the heavy? Yeah. Because it's not going to stop. It's okay. Express yourself. Thank you. I'll give you the accountant. The accountant wasn't very good. That's fine. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.